Hi everybody, welcome again to my basement studio. Today I'm going to discuss with you how I decide or how I plan um, the quilting I'm going to do on my block. So look down here and let me show you what I use. Okay, so what I have here is I have a piece of plexiglass. This is an old piece, it's all, see the edge, it's all junky. Um, I found this on the man side of the basement and snitched it. But you can get this stuff, and I think you can get it cut to the exact dimensions you'd like at places like Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, kind of be neat if you could do it at a 20 by 20 uh, square and be able to use it for other things in your quilting. But what I like to do is I like to use a dry erase marker, and I actually like the thinner ones, but all I have right now are the thick ones. And I put my block that I want to work on under the plexiglass. Okay. And then I just use this marker and start drawing some things on here that I might like. So let's see. Maybe on this triangle here, I'd like to come out like this. Then take a space. Now this is just some rough ideas to get an idea if I like these mo these designs or not. So go out this way, this, this. Okay, there's another one. Okay, so so far so good. Let's see. Maybe these triangles I would first outline is stitch in the ditch and then perhaps come in and about a walking foot distance away put another line like this so that would be kind of poofy right here um, maybe in this square I could do something like I've done in the past if I were to draw a line up here, it's just my reference line, and then I was to come in here till I hit that line and then pivot and go down and go back a certain amount, maybe a presser foot width up to that line and back like that. Okay, maybe in these areas I would just do a triangle also. And here I was doing this one where I go there, there, there. Maybe, let's see, in this one maybe I do the same thing. So I would go like that, like that, like that. Same thing here. I'm pivoting when I hit that middle line. But anyway, this is just a way that I can sample to see if I like whoops what I'm doing if I make a mistake just take my eraser and erase it uh, I was thinking about doing pebbling somewhere too because I really like pebbling but this will give you the idea of what I mean so you just get a piece of plexiglass and then you can change what you're doing and if you want to what you can do is put a piece of white paper underneath here just so you can get a better idea of what your quilting is going to look like ish because you know it's a lot sloppier than what it will look like in person and not to mention that these are big fat red lines instead of little tiny thread it looks like i missed some triangle over here anyway i think it's a really cool way to um, test different motifs or different uh, uh free motion quilting that you'd like to do erase this one and one last one, maybe I wanted to do L's in this area. You know, L's are easy because we all learned cursive many years ago, so we can do the lowercase L's pretty easily. So I could just do that on that one, and of course I'd flip my block around and do it on that side. Um, or I could do just a thing like this 
Or you know what? I could just do a meander in here. If I wanted to practice a meander, that's, again, this big fat pen doesn't do it justice, but you get the idea. Anyway, so get yourself a piece of plexiglass. I'll meet you back here and show you what I've decided to do on my square soon.